Well, as you can guess, this is a tutorial on fun due to the title. You can guess, but okay, first is, show you that in a second. The brush tool will just draw little things. I have no idea what that was. I don't no idea what that was either. Square tool. Well, it's actually called box tool, but make these things squares, of course. You can rotate things like that. I don't know what that big radar thing means. Anyway, and you can turn it into water with the liquify on the right tool. Then the water is. Then you can uh, get rid of that. You can draw a big circle. So for those people who don't know how to do motors, it's add center hinge. Then it's on the hinge hinges motor. I'm gonna set this to quite fast, so I'm gonna have it spins round. Then I'm gonna do this. Ta-da! I'm not really one to copy and paste, so I just draw, end up drawing lots of squares. No, that's nowhere near too big. That's nowhere near big enough. There we go, that's better. Um, that's too big. So, well, it'll have to do. Hinge it onto the motor, then hinge it onto here. Might as well hinge it at the bottom just to make sure it works. Then it. Oh yeah, I forgot to fix it. Um, yeah, that's the fix it button. Hinge buttons there. Then you can. Oh, it went too high. Oh well. Then clear the scene. So this. Um, the zoom button, I don't know why I'm actually clearing that. That's as big as you can get, that is amazing. But, I'll show this. Plain. Be careful, because if you're on a high zoom, then when you zoom out, it'll be like that, so. Then it's train button, which basically just makes a little train of circles. And I have no idea why it's moving so slow. Okay, undo train, undo plain. Is that round? kind of box then you can do things like this so I'll cover the rest on this later well not later obviously in a different video but you can do all this and if you set it to really low strength then you can it kind of flies down sort of and then watch this if I go back onto it while it's bouncing because it's a high strength wham <laughs> okay and then you've got the fixate button which basically pans it to the back or pans it to the low thing hinge button which is different to this it lets it rotate still but on the end you can make little spiral things it lets it rotate and let's get rid of this before I do that um, in fact just clear this entire area or crud then something hit me um oh, oh crud um new scene you can do this which was pretty cool if i can remember it um yeah wait i don't it wasn't actually cool i was just wanting to show you something you can attach oh it's a bit plain you can make say a ball on a ramp then you can attach pens onto it i don't know why it's moving but and then it draws a line wherever the pen goes which if you put loads of them on you get a big multicolored squabble thing then there's a drag tool which lets you drag objects woo multicolored squabble Blah, color in the screen then Come back here, you. Um, we're experiencing some technical. Oh, here it comes. Then you can scale things like this ball. Make it come here, you. In fact, pause. I 
had paws. Then you can, if you can get this. Oh, why the hell is it dragging it? I'll have to do it with a square. Oh, mid button. Um, you can. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, you can make things bigger and stuff. Then another thing you can do if you're really good. I don't recommend this for people that are new. It's for people that um, are new to the world of fun. Need this exactly straight. Make a very thin line. Then, oh, that's a good thing because it's thin, it's hard to slack. Come on. You can go into geometries, look for fire gems. But, oh. What the hell? It worked last time. Oh, wait, last time I did it like this, though. So I'm going to have to undo that to do it right. Undo that. Do it again, but it has to be big enough, otherwise it'll just turn into some big squabbly black hole thing like that. Let me think. I have no idea how I actually made this work last time. Oh well. Clear scene. I'll, <laughs> I'll show you some of my things I've made. These are some very simple things. Yeah, this and that. Oh wait, that one doesn't work. I keep forgetting. Um, that's just that's no point. Motor power. This thing spins around, and when the box thing does go up, it hits all of them things. Wee. Anyway, load scene. Another one is that's very easy. I don't make very complex ones currently. Um, is this little domino thing I'm a jig above. Please note the bigger the domino, the stronger. I'll show you a dispenser, even though it is on YouTube already. Yet again, it's that dear little motor thing. A seesaw, but told me tips once all of them are on. That's a pretty good thing, you know. Tips into there. And this one is fully on YouTube. It's a very big um, upgrade to the old dispenser that I just showed flew you. Yeah? Got the same little seesaw thingy, except with a bit of a twist. This one doesn't always work, so I'll have to show you it again if it doesn't. But or I could just tip it with my own hands. But there we go. It works for your first for your first time for your enjoyment. Goes down, and sometimes if it's really funny, when it turns into like a little cart thing when it goes down. Oh, it's done it! Look, ah, it's weird. Goes down, cart thing. Oh, it's done it again. Except this time, wider out. You know, you could just do a motor, but for a car, but then oh, stupid thing, goes into there. Anyway, that's pretty much it from me. So, um, bye.